It seems the world is weighing in with opinions about the Bloomington dentist accused of killing a beloved lion while in Zimbabwe. African officials say Dr. Walter Palmer paid about $55,000 to hunt and kill a 13-year-old collared research lion named Cecil. Animal rights activists and others are planning to protest outside the dentist's office later today. Ashley Roberts joins us live from Bloomington where people are already gathering there, Ashley. Kim, this is the story heard around the world. Now, families have dropped off dozens of stuffed animal toys in honor of Cecil the lion. Later today, more than 1,000 people are also expected to arrive for what's being called a peaceful protest. Take a look at this video. This is what we've already seen here at Dr. Palmer's office this morning. New Zealand native Haley Hoppy lives in Minnesota with her two daughters, Piper and Paisley. They are outraged and wanted to peacefully protest what they call Dr. Walter Palmer's barbaric actions. Officials in Zimbabwe say Dr. Palmer paid about $55,000 to hunt the lion. Palmer has said he didn't know he killed a famous lion until he returned to Minnesota. Still, supporters of Cecil and the Animal Rights Coalition want Dr. Palmer held accountable. I think that he needs to uh, think seriously about his hobby and uh, he can apologize until the cows come home, but and for us, it's more about we're here for Cecil. We're not here for Dr. Palmer. Preserves are meant to preserve wildlife, not to just lure them off and poach them. We're really hoping to spread some awareness that animals, they're not trophies. They're not ours to use however we want. You know, they have feelings, they have families, just like we do. And, you know, we want to we wanna spread awareness about this issue and, you know, protest these acts that have occurred. The peaceful protest organized by the Animal Rights Coalition starts at 4 p.m. Police are already here and they plan to block off the street leading up to Dr. Palmer's office and also stay here during that protest to make sure it stays peaceful. At last check, about 1,500 people had RSVP'd for that protest. At last check, also, we haven't heard anything about charges against Dr. Palmer or plans to extradite him back to Zimbabwe. All right, Ashley, thank you for staying on top of this. Well, just